वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ शेफ कजामा एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द वर्ल्ड बेस्ट ऑप्टिमाइज कॉन्फ़िगरेशन सेटिंग ऑफ गॉड हैंड गेम इन पीसीएसएक्स 2 फॉर लो एंड पीसी लैपटॉप यूजर्स आफ्टर अप्लाइंग माय कॉन्फ़िगरेशन सेटिंग यू विल गेट 60 प्लस एफपीएस विद बेस्ट परफॉर्मेंस ग्राफिक्स एंड कलरिंग स्कीम सो डोंट स्किप द वीडियो एंड सेट योर सेटिंग जस्ट लाइक माय सेटिंग्स गाइस this video deserves lot of subscribers if you are new on my channel so please first subscribe my channel and ring the bell icon for future upcoming videos updates and notifications so let's start for best performance and graphics in low end pc keep this in your mind you have to download pcsx2 version 1.00 r5350 so open the configuration option and go to first emulation settings in the eeiop Check in Emotion Engine, Recompiler, IOP Section, Recompiler, EEFPU, Advanced Recompiler Option, Chops, Slash 0, Clamping Mod, None, Now go to VUS Section, VU0, Super VU Recompiler, and VU1, Super VU Recompiler Legacy. Now go to Downside, VU0, VU1, Advanced Recompiler Option, Round Mode, Chops, Slash 0, Clamping Mod, none now go to gs option frame limiter option tick the disable frame limiting option and go to the right side frame skipping section and click on constant skipping frame to draw 2 frame to skip 2 okay now go to gs window don't touch anything go to speed hacks click on enable speed hacks and in the ee cycle rate not recommended move the slider to the right side so it will set to 3 and uh, view cycling stealing not recommended set it to zero in other hacks tick on enable intc spin detection tick on enable wet loop detection and also tick on micro view hacks now click on apply and ok now again click on config and click on plugin bios selector in the gs section there is a slider and select the upper one maybe it is avx or maybe it is sc2 in different different system the different different version is on upper side so in my this laptop it is avx but this is my gaming laptop it is showing avx on the upper one but on my old laptop which have no graphic card it is showing sc2 so i leave it on sc2 then click on configuration setting render direct 3d 11 hardware interlocking f5 auto and original ps2 resolution native do not check this use the scaling option select it custom and in custom resolution enter the field with 280 into 7020 if you have super low end pc and you will not get more performance so do not use custom resolution simply click on native then go to enable shared boost tick on it and open setting here you will go to move the slider of saturation to 80 to 89 okay according to your screen and brightness from 50 to between 70 and contrast 50 click on ok in the hardware mode setting tick on texture filtering logarithm z tick on enable hw hex and go to its configuration setting now msa0 and skip draw 4 in digit ok tick on aggressive crc then click on ok and click on ok also click on this component selector pcsx2 ok now let's go to the secret of the performance configuration setting go to your game folder open the inis folder there is a configuration file with the name gsdx.ini open it so the shade boost contrast 50 shade boost brightness 70 saturation 89 okay the most important mode width 480 mode height 320 mode refresh rate 60 okay and renderer 3 interlock 7 aspect ratio 0 upscale multiplier 1 window 0 filter 1 poltex 0 vsync 0 logs 1 fb 0 a 10 network 0 resolution x 1280 resolution y 720 extra thread 0 shed boost 1 user hack 1 user hack msaa 0 user hack alpha hack 0 alpha pixel offset 0 spirit hack 0 skip draw 4 wild hack 0 aggressive crc 1 now click on the close option a pop up comes with save don't save or close so click on save option 
Now go to the pcsx2vm.ini configuration file. Double click on it and scroll down to mm, frame rate NTSC line. So the frame NTSC set to 79.94 and frame rate PAL is 70.0. And click on close. Also save this. That's it. Now your PCSX2 is ready for launching the God Hand in best performance and graphics. So enjoy the game. Friends, I record this video on my gaming laptop because my low-end PC laptop is dead. So ignore that I have a GPU laptop. This configuration video is for non-GPU, means without graphic card systems. If my video helps you, like the video and subscribe my channel. And please leave your precious feedback in comment section. Take care. Goodbye.